Oh, five GMC folks. It's the Envoy. It's not the EX. It's the short one or the EXL. And the guy's back window went all the way down and out. Won't come up. Uh, key on, engine off. You can run the switch, and you hear a lot of creaking and crunching and grinding in there. So I assume the regulator is broke. But let's see about getting one of the or getting one of the door panels off. Let's see about getting this door panel off and having a look. I don't recall ever having done one of these on an Envoy. We'll be using our wear toolkit. It's the toolkit with the clip for the mechanic with the on-the-go lifestyle. We're gonna pop out a little door pull here. There should be a screw. There's always a screw in your door pulls. And this car's got two screws, so you take that little fella out. And then they're probably 8mm, but we're gonna check and see. They're not, they're seven, like I initially thought, but said eight. Oh yeah, first try. Here comes the rain. You can never tell if it's cloudy out or if it's smoke from Canada. <laughs> it's been really, really smoky here the past couple days. Take this screw out, and we'll take this screw out. Now, according to service data, it said to remove the window switch also, but it showed the switch like down here. So I'm not 100% certain on that. Let's give it a little pry. See what she feels like. Ooh, I don't know. I didn't really care for that. That's interesting. So this is just the trim piece. It's got the four little latches that go over the switch, but um, the switch has a metal retaining tab there and there's also one on the front. I don't know if it's quite necessary to pull this to be honest with you. Probably could just have unhooked it with the panel off. So I'll click this back on. Fortunately for us it did not break. So that's what it looks like. And those are the tabs that hold it in, those metal tabs there. So just FYI, and then that's it. That's all we had to do. Let me get a kneeling pad. You guys are probably in the best position for this. So we need to take and just pop the clips out of the door. Sometimes you get lucky and just grab it and give it a little yank, but these are pretty snug. Let's even get in here without gouging it up too bad. There's one. Usually you get a couple started and you're, you're home free. They can be pretty snug one right there is pretty snug and then we should be able to lift it straight up straight up and off and that's it uh, I'm not sure what you guys can see from up there but one two three four five six seven eight it looks like this is an oddballer that one there so we'll set this one over here by that shivy and then we'll pull off the, uh, the skin Just pull slow on these things when you're taking them off. I don't know if it's like a butyl rubber that they use on, I don't know what it is, but if you pull slow, it'll, it'll come off. There, so we'll set that sticky side up. And then I'll see if we can get a hold of this fella's window here. Nope. Yeah, the regulator come unglued. So I've done me a fair share of General Motors regulators, but never in an Envoy, in the back door. If, I can, if we can pick it up. That's there, there we go. 
All right, let me move you guys because I'm gonna show you how this clamps to the glass. We'll get it unclamped and then we'll take the regulator out. But I probably should go in the office and see if the customer wants to fix it first. I'm sure he probably will. And we'll be right back. So I've got these wedges here. We're gonna wedge the window once we get it released from the regulator. All right, so the glass should be free now. All right, I'm just gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna take one of these wedges right here just in the top of the window belting here. We're gonna stick them in there. You can also just take a piece of tape up over the top of the door on both halves of the glass, you know, to kind of clamp it over there. If you feel inclined to do so, let's see. Well, unplug the motor. Everybody just has to go take a bathroom break there. <laughs> pretty loud coming down pretty hard out there and where's that one bolt on got a bolt somewhere All right am I right where are you bolt on there little fella let me give a feel down in here It's got to be bolted on. Let me get a light so I can see what the heck's down there. Oh, this is all plastic. Oh, this is part of... This is part of that. Okay, I didn't notice that. That's my bad. That's my bad, old son. Let's take this speaker out. The bolt's right here. Too bad they didn't just drill a hole in that sucker, right? There we go. There's the extra bolt. All right, knee high. Oh, we got a wire retainer. Whoa, guys. clipped on right here. I don't know if that comes with the regulator or not, so we're going to leave that. Find the secret combo. Get the magnet to hold itself there. That's the secret combo. There's our broken regulator. Let me go get her a new one. Got this baby from Napper. Slip this around. All the way down in there. It should have a couple of little hooks to hang it on. One there, so it's got a little hook there. A little hook right there. It is aftermarket, so you might have to do a little tweaking to get things lined up here. That's all right. We'll get her. See if this guy's lined up. Yes, ma'am. Two out of three ain't bad so far. This one's a... That's a whisper off. If they don't fit, you might have to force it. Come on, little guy. Let's try to tweak over on it a little bit here. Is 
There you go, just need a little persuasion. This is just a little 12 volt stuff, so don't get too excited, okay? Uh oh, we're missing a nut. Damn, sun's up. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Almost made me say a naughty word. We're gonna pull out our wedgies. Keep your hand right here. In case the window falls. Give a little help on the way down. All these are is one of those. That's it, that's all they are. Um, I don't think we can get to them with the window all the way up. As you can see, you can have the window all kind of cattywampus in here, okay? We're just gonna kind of go off the old marks. And it's my habit, typically. I'll just kind of leave these a little bit loose. We're gonna run the window up. They'll kind of find their center. We'll run the window down, then we'll snug them up. You know what I mean? Put that tag back in there. It's got a little alignment tab on the back of it. There's a little plastic donger there you gotta line up. Feels like there's another one. There is two of them. There it is. They both lined up real nice. Yes, sir. Let's uh, turn the key on. We'll plug it up. Okay, key is on. Actually, you can see the one bolt. Oh, look at that. Good engineering, General Motors. We're gonna stick our little socket right through there and the other one right through there I'm gonna let her down a little bit Whoop. and we're gonna let her back up that's right where she wants to be now we're gonna snug those up that's a really good job it's unlike GM to do something that makes sense but that right there that makes sense Use your head with these a little bit, okay? You're doing that to a piece of glass. I never broke one, but I could imagine. There's probably a torque spec, so be sure to look that up. Alright, we did it. That's it, folks. We came, we saw, we kicked it. We did it. Now, just a matter of putting a uh, little sticky back on here. Or our wires back to there. I think that's probably where they went, if I had to guess. Hopefully, we didn't forget anything. If we did, I'm sure we will see it in the comment section. I think we did it all. Went all the way this stuff here this goes way up there way up there there's that that one goes way up there this stuff usually has plenty enough stick in it to go back on and off multiple times. 
Chevy trucks, man. I can't tell you how many window regulators I've done in those. I probably could because I could go look it up, but it's a lot. There it is. By the trail, you guys couldn't see much of that, but up here under the handle, you have to kind of pull this foam back or this insulation to get the water shield up in there. I didn't realize I was doing such a bad job with the videography. Running, doing the filming. So we're gonna stick our wire up here. Hang this back up towards the top. It's gonna go in this groove right here. Got it done just in time for the rain to quit. Am I right? Is that what we're doing? And then you're gonna feel the little pegs line up. I can see it. Well, those ones click. The top one here does not want to click. I can feel it. We're in the groove, man. Hundred percent in that top groove. That's kind of gummy. Forward is up. Click that back in. dormant so we better not roll it up and down too many times we want the customer to have a few chances actually in their defense their window regulators do seem to last a little while probably as long as the OEM ish but I don't know our trucks go to the scrap metal so fast it's hard to say maybe other people have had different experiences well, that's it folks that's the window regulator and your Chevy Envoy GMC on boy, non XL. Plain old, plain old. And that, folks, is that rear window regulator on the Envoy. Pretty easy. And uh, you want you want a pro tip on how to sell a window regulator without any hemming and hawing? Make sure it's raining. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, it's probably a good tip, but uh, you can't control the weather.
But what you can do is control what you're gonna say in that comment section. Go down there, questions, comments, concerns. Well, it's on the Insta, the Facebook, not on TikTok. We don't like that guy. And just remember viewers, if, if I can do it, you can do it. So thanks for watching.